What is going on guys? It is 3 a.m. in the Fishing with Flair household. I am headed to uh, Alabama today. Uh, I've been to Alabama before, but not this part of Alabama. This trip I am going to be fishing a lake that has been on my bucket list since pretty much I got into fishing. And so this is kind of an exciting trip for me. I, I really haven't been flying around a whole lot. I've spent the last like two months just focusing on school. And I mean, obviously I've been posting YouTube videos, but I've been pretty much staying around Nebraska for the most part. Well, things are about to change. I am uh, planning on traveling a ton, going to California next week, going to Texas the week after that. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy, exciting. It's going to be a good change of pace for my life. I was kind of tired of the same old, same old of just kind of fishing Nebraska ponds and going to class every day and stuff like that. So things are going to change, but I need to go catch a flight to Alabama. I just got off the shuttle and uh, going to the airport now. Hopefully it's not too busy. It is Sunday, like as in two, two or three days after Thanksgiving. So this is kind of the day everybody's going home. So I got to the airport really early. My flight doesn't leave until 5.40, so I've got some time, but I'm probably gonna end up putting this camera away. Being that everyone seems to be getting kicked off of airplanes lately. If you're new to the channel, I will show that clip right now. I got kicked off the flight for filming. They literally kicked me off the flight. So you're gonna see the GoPro. Well, I'm in the airport now. It is 4.12 a.m. Flight is at 5.40. Everyone kept telling me that I should not be flying on this day because it's like the day like Sunday like after Thanksgiving break and all that stuff like everyone's gonna be flying this day right I was the only person in the security line like the absolute only person no one was there downstairs were like the baggage baggage claim and like where people were checking bags so there was like well, a decent line there but there was zero people in security so I'm gonna chill here for about an hour probably watch some YouTube videos maybe take a nap since I got about two and a half hours of sleep last night and then getting on an airplane, going to Atlanta, Georgia, getting off the airplane, waiting another hour, and then flying from Atlanta to Huntsville, Alabama. sure what to do from here I am fishing Lake Gunnersville which I'm about an hour from that right now and I don't have a ride to the lake and I looked up an uber and it's $111 to uber so not really sure what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a few phone calls to avoid that uber bill I might have to end up doing that I'm not really sure I just didn't really plan I feel like John and Perrick this is something they would do I just I, I didn't plan like once I got to the airport how was I gonna get to the lake I don't know I didn't really make those uh, those arrangements so I'm just gonna kind of sit here and try to figure out what to do with my life and hopefully go fishing today Said a lot of in that place. yeah $130 cab ride from the airport. So I'm here. Tyler is out on the lake already and he's going to pick me up in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to try to kind of get myself organized. I didn't bring any rods or any tackle. I brought a few reels, 
I'm just gonna be borrowing everybody's this week. So I'm just gonna grab some reels, grab my camera gear, maybe go to the gas station, grab a little bit of food because I'm kind of hungry, and then go to the lake. So now I'm walking to the gas station, gonna grab some drinks, a little bit of food, meeting Tyler real quick. I'm running late though, so I'm gonna kind of try to hurry along. And hopefully, I've never fished Gunner's Field. It's kind of been one of the lakes that I've wanted to fish all my life. So it's gonna be fun today. Hopefully, it's perfect weather. It's nice and it's kind of warm, kind of cool, not really all that windy, and uh, should be fun. All right, take care. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right, that dude was complimenting my camera setup. I got Red Bulls, Chex Mix, water, some Cliff Bars. I'm, I'm starving. Tyler's waiting for me. It's about to go down, boys. There he is. They found me. Yeah, Tyler's real fishing in the house. Yes, you want to introduce guys? yourself to the... To I'm the Darian. What's up, guys? Darian. What's We're up? about to go blast him. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to start throwing this frog. We got some, some cheese up in this joint. And... Uh, what, what frog am I throwing? All right, I got a black frog. That's basically what I'm gonna throw. We got some mats. Tyler's throwing a Texas rig, right? Uh, a little bit different. Swim bait, <laughs> not quite. You know, they're pretty They're pretty close. A Texas rig craw and a belly weighted swim bait go hand in hand, but they're close enough. So that's what we're kind of, we're dealing with, throwing frogs and punching, flipping, just, I don't know. This is kind of just fun for me just cause throwing in vegetation like this, I haven't done this since like July in Nebraska. Kind of makes me feel at home. Just a lot warmer and uh, bigger fish. And yeah, I'm moving to moving to Gunner's Hill. And then if you go up above Pickwick, it is, uh, that's Kentucky Lake. If I was in Nebraska, there'd be one pounders all over this. I'd, just be, I'd be catching all of them. That's about it though. You can only catch the one pounder. Only the ones though. There'd be fives, I just wouldn't catch them. You are a flick. Yep, it goes against my everything. <laughs> We've been fishing for about 30 minutes since I got, whoa, cameras, nope, don't fall, you stay right there. Since I got about two hours of sleep, I'm going to uh, drink a Red Bull. We uh, just pulled into like some grass, mat, hydrilla, something or another, I don't know. I act like I know what I'm doing, but I'm in Alabama for Christ's sakes, I don't know, I don't know what this stuff is, but we're fishing and uh, hopefully going to catch, what did you say, a hydrilla gorilla? Oh yes. So we're looking for hydrilla gorillas is, is kind of the, the target species for the day. <laughs> Tyler, drive down here right now. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm in Alabama. Oh my god, dude, that's crazy. Okay, we got the trap okay. going. First one in the boat, maybe? Oh, yes! Oh yeah. First oh. one in the boat on the trap. That's what we like to see. I uh, woke up at 2.30 this morning to catch a flight, catch Don't those mondos, dude. Just giant, Absolute you know, slaunches. <laughs> there you go. We found them. Dropped the poles. Oh shit, there's no poles. Doing a bunch on social media stuff. Moving? Yeah. Okay. Take that. We're not catching enough fish here, so we're gonna move somewhere else. Yep. Peace out, Girl Scout. Carp one, carp two. Oh my gosh. Look at these. Like these are like 40 pound carp. They're you want you want those for dinner, Tyler? Carp took the L today. No, I don't want them. You don't want them for dinner? I'm sure I could fry them up. Look at it. I think they're just like we're like in a carp cemetery. Should I touch it? You have to like this video right now. Like, hit that thumbs up button. Oh, that's icky. Oh. You see this bridge behind me? You guys have seen Randy Howell win the Bassmaster Classic right here. It's kind of crazy because I mean, I've, I remember like people standing up on this bridge. What? That's Andrew Flynn. No, my name's Alex Perrick. That, uh, that's the bridge everyone was standing on, and Randy was fishing this when he won the Classic. It's just crazy. This is like a place I've always dreamed about coming to. So we, we gotta make a quick stop and, and fish this. Yeah, those are those are some fans. All right, let's catch a fish. As this airplane goes down and screws my audio up, uh, and we're flipping docks. I'm throwing a chatterbait, got jigs and swim baits on. We're basically just kind of junk fishing. We're back in this little creek cut type deal. I'm not really sure. We're just kind of flipping around, kind of looking for schooling fish. We fished on the bridge that Randy Howell uh, we the classic on for a little bit, and we're just kind of just kind of cruising around. I don't know; it's tough, and Tyler just keeps complaining about the cold the whole time. I'm just kidding. No, it's freaking cold. We didn't really dress dress prepared for this. It's probably like 50, 55. So it's a little bit chilly. We're open. I just want to catch one fish today. I don't even care if it's a flare fish. It just needs to be a fish. 
just so I can feel a little bit better about myself. Oh, baby. Uh-oh. Darian finally has, is that a largemouth? It is. No, it's not. Oh. What is that? Stripe, striped bass? It's a hybrid. Hybrid? Hybrid. Okay. Catching well, everything but the largemouth. They here. are getting bigger. <laughs> We're getting bigger though. It's not a largemouth. Caught a fish. I'm just over here. I'm just in the back of the boat twiddling my thumbs all day. Twiddling the thumbs. Twiddling the thumbs. Oh, I actually caught a fish, guys. Oh, yes. Yep. Finally, I uh, got the skunk out of the boat. Took its eye out, but I uh, caught a fish. Look at that, glittered me up. See, if you guys want to be a really good fisherman like me, what you do is you see the size of the bait, you see the size of the bait, or the, you see the size of the bait and you see the size of the lure. You usually want to, most people think that you want to like match the hatch. No, the actual opposite is you want to throw a bait that's like seven times the size of the bait, the bait fish. That's how you catch them. As you guys can tell, that's why I'm crushing it today. We're ending the day with, with, with a sucky. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, it was, it was pretty bad actually. I didn't catch any bass. He caught a yellow bass. We got three shad. So. A couple shad. It just not a good day. So we're gonna we're gonna put the boat in the trailer, go to dinner, maybe go see Randy Howell. He lives on this lake. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna see Boy Duck or Jason Lambert tonight. We might go get dinner with those dudes. Not really sure what the rest of the evening has in store, but if it's interesting, I'll make sure to turn the camera on. Wow, sick Arby's, thanks for the lures. <laughs> oh, Tyler's over there. We are, um... Hello. Tyler's right there. We got food, thank God. I'm like, this is the hungriest I've been in quite some time. I pretty much just had like a little bit of breakfast at like 2.30 this morning. And then I had, what did I have, some Chex Mix and some Cliff Bars, nothing really. So we're eating some Arby's, but we're gonna end the day. I, I Hopefully you guys just saw a clip at Randy's house on my phone. I don't know if that really turned out. You guys think I have a lot of baits. Look at this. All this. Wall to wall. You guys think I have a lot of rods. Look at this. Yeah. That just came out. I don't of, have nothing. That just came out of my truck. <laughs> That's all I was in the rod bar. I don't have anything compared to this. Like, I've got no, I've got no baits. I'm taking, I'm taking this thing home now. <laughs> this is just absurd. I, I'm always thinking that I've got like, would you say these are filled with plastics? Whoa! Look at that, just filled Whoa. with plastics. Yeah. What you doing there? That's all off the shelf. That stuff all up there. Yeah, That's all plastics. That's a box. Of plastic Senkos. Boxes of Senkos, not packs of Senkos. It's ridiculous. Do you wish this was your setup? Yes, very much so crazy but we basically went to randy howell's house you guys know him i'm sure for like an hour and a half just talking fishing and business just a lot of fun stuff he gives a quick tour of his uh his house and his tackle room gave me a few baits to try out and uh overall just kind of had a fun time i didn't really take the the camera in there i just feel like that would be kind of awkward so i ended up filming on my phone just to kind of try it out to see if i liked this but we're gonna end i'm gonna end the video here filming a tv show tomorrow so i'm assuming we probably can't film right no so we can't can't film tomorrow. That kind of sucks. I hate that. I heard they may give us the footage to use for our own channels, though. Oh. That's okay. a potential. So we're filming a TV show. Tyler and I are filming a TV show with Boy Duckett and Jason Lambert. We cannot film, like, I can't vlog it, but there's going to make a full TV production made out of it in which we might get the footage later on, which I could maybe show you for, like, a throwback Thursday. I don't know. I'm making stuff up. But then the next day, Tyler flies out in the morning on Tuesday early morning. He can't fish Tuesday. Today is Sunday, by the way. And so I don't have a flight until about 5. So me and Darian might go to Smith Lake on Tuesday morning for a few hours before my flight. Uh, or if I, we start whacking on Gunnersville, uh, we'll come back there. I don't know. Gunnersville really sucked today. I didn't catch any fish. Kind of a little shad, a little, little baby shad. Other than that, I didn't catch any fish. It was pretty much god awful, which I... I I kind of knew that going into it. Parrick texted me and he called me earlier and was like, dude, don't go to Gunnersville. It sucks. Well, this is where we're going to film the TV show, so I didn't really have a choice. So I wanted to give it a shot. Gunnersville is one of those lakes where it's like my bucket list lake. I really, I, re I really just wanted to fish or whether I caught fish or not. So I wanted to bring you guys along. That's why I'm making this non-fish catching while fishing vlog is because I want to document this for myself and for you guys to enjoy just because it's just kind of like an experience like it's going to like Okeechobee like that's another lake on my bucket list that I hope to go to it in 2017 and uh, it's just one of those cool moments so anyways 
that is that is what's going on. I didn't really explain a whole lot. I basically just hopped in an airplane early this morning and now I was fishing. That's a little bit about what was going on in case you guys actually watched until this point in the video. For God's sakes, God bless your heart because this video was absolutely just awful to watch. Anyways, that is all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. I was like, oh, I have the right to film it. She was like, no, you don't. So then I put my camera away and then she started yelling at me and kicked me off the flight. The captain came and made me leave my seat.